Vincent van Gogh is one of the most popular painters ever, and his notoriety for being a tormented soul is notable. The fundamental realities of his demise are built up. He went out where he was remaining to go paint in a field one morning. Late that night in 1890, he bumbled back with a shot injury to the chest and kicked the bucket two days after the fact. His sibling Theo, who was at his bedside when he kicked the bucket, revealed that Van Gogh said that he had shot himself. This has for quite some time been held as the clarification for his passing. He experienced dysfunctional behavior for a mind-blowing duration, including the well-known occurrence where he slashed off his own ear. However, present-day history specialists are currently talking about another hypothesis that Van Gogh was unintentionally shot by a nearby kid who frequently tormented the abnormal craftsman. Van Gogh may have asserted that he shot himself so as to shield the kid from being captured. This hypothesis is upheld by the way that Van Gogh's painting gear and the weapon vanished from the field where the shooting occurred, and the way that Van Gogh, a strict man, had guaranteed that he was ethically restricted to suicide before. George Herbert, an English lord, is notable as the monetary benefactor of the endeavor to find the tomb of Egyptian King Tutankhamun. Numerous individuals, including Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, cautioned him that by upsetting the tomb, he would bring the mummy's curse upon himself. Herbert passed on somewhat more than a month after he entered the tomb, promptly starting hypothesis that he had become a survivor of King Tut's anger. A few, including Conan Doyle, accepted that the Egyptians had abandoned a toxic substance when they fixed it. Others accepted that he may have been presented to poisonous organisms that had created throughout the hundreds of years. Reality is by all accounts considerably less sensational. Herbert incidentally cut a mosquito chomp with his razor and it prompted a skin disease. This formed into pneumonia, which Herbert was at that point powerless to with a debilitated insusceptible framework. Could King Tut have sent the creepy crawly as discipline from past the grave? That remaining part's a secret. Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart is very much viewed as one of the best traditional arrangers ever. He took a shot at his structures until his passing, including his requiem, a kind of peace plan for regarding the dead. As of not long ago, the main however was that Mozart was killed by an opponent. The stage play and film Amadeus sustained this thought, naming Antonio Salieri as the culprit. However, a recent report by European disease transmission experts offered another hypothesis. Subsequent to looking at verifiable passing records from Mozart's home of Vienna, they found a spike in passings of youngsters in the city around the hour of Mozart's demise. The new hypothesis is that Mozart got in a streptococcal disease during a plague in the city. The history books may owe Mr. Salieri a conciliatory sentiment. Alexander the Great made a huge realm across Eurasia, including 20 urban areas named after himself. It is accounted for that a Hindu prophet and guide, Calanus, talked his final words to Alexander, we will meet again in Babylon. Nobody would comprehend what he implied until Alexander kicked the bucket not long after in Babylon at age 32. He experienced torment and halfway loss of motion for right around 14 days paving the way to his demise in 323 BC. At the point when he at long last kicked the bucket, he gave no indication of rot for more than six days, establishing the possibility that he was a ruler, yet really a divine being. His absence of disintegration might be probably the greatest hint in deciding Alexander's fate. For quite a bit of history, it was imagined that he surrendered to tropical infection during his military voyages, conceivably jungle fever or typhoid. Numerous additionally accepted that he could have harm from his numerous political adversaries. Nonetheless, new research proposes another hypothesis. Alexander may have been experiencing Guillain-Barre syndrome, an immune system issue that causes loss of motion and passing. He might not have given indications of deterioration for a considerable length of time since he was not dead yet, simply deadened.
Pablo Neruda was a Nobel Prize champ, legislator, and artist when he kicked the bucket 12 days after the military takeover of Chile in 1973. His official demise endorsement records his reason for death as malignant growth cachexia, however Neruda did not have the principal indication of this kind of disease passing, outrageous weight reduction. Indeed, specialists portrayed him as hefty at the hour of his demise. Neruda's political activism could have been an issue for the news system in the nation, and he may have been killed subsequently. Six men were captured in 2009 for harming the previous Chilean president at around a similar time that Neruda died. Originally the president's demise was recorded as septic stun however ended up being harming by thallium and mustard gas. In 2013, Neruda's driver uncovered that the writer had called him from the clinic and said that an obscure individual had infused him in the stomach. A board of 16 researchers consistently chose in 2017 that Neruda didn't kick the bucket of malignancy, however the genuine reason for death has not been resolved. Europe's incredible head had been compelled to resign from his life of success to a calm existence of outcast on the island of St. Helena in 1815. He began encountering torment, stomach-related pain, and perspiring. The gathering of specialists who were at his bedside all concurred that he had kicked the bucket of stomach disease, which had been found in his family previously. On his deathbed, nonetheless, Napoleon announced that the British had harmed him. His British captors absolutely would have profited by the passing of the celebrated French general, and there is some logical proof supporting Napoleon's claim. Fatal levels of arsenic were found in Napoleon's hair during present-day tests. So also elevated levels were likewise found in the hair of his family. Arsenic was basic in numerous family questions at that point, so it's conceivable that he had essentially retained a lot of the toxic substance while living on St. Helena. The French government won't permit his body to be uncovered, so this riddle may stay unsolved. Joseph Stalin was one of the most fierce pioneers ever, liable for the passings of his very own huge number residents. His own passing was not vicious. The staff at his nation home monitored him after not got notification from him for quite a long time. They discovered him on his room floor in dirty garments, a glass of water spilled alongside him. It took them right around 10 additional hours to require a specialist, scared of the despot's outrage in the event that he was demonstrated to be powerless. At the point when help showed up, Stalin was incompletely incapacitated and had amazingly hypertension, and he later spewed blood before passing on and tossing the Soviet Union into chaos. The specialists on the scene concluded that it was a stroke. Nonetheless, Stalin had numerous foes who accepted that they could take power after his passing. A few of his partners had visited him in the days preceding his passing, and they purportedly drank wine together. There has been some hypothesis among present-day history specialists that one of them may have slipped a blood more slender into his wine that would have firmly emulated the manifestations of a stroke. A fittingly devious end for a shrewd man. English Lord William II, nicknamed William Rufus due to his red hair, delighted in the exemplary honorable leisure activity of chasing. It was one of these chasing trips that brought about his passing. While out on this campaign in 1100 AD, a bolt was shot through William's lung, murdering him. Who precisely shot the ruler is obscure, albeit a man named Walter Tyrell was referenced in reports. The gathering of nobles who were with him get back without his body and announce the occurrence as an accident. The apparently irregular passing of such an influential man caused a stir, particularly since William's sibling Henry had the whole realm to pick up with his sibling's demise. Henry immediately assumed control over the position of authority after his passing and was an individual from William's chasing party that day. Was his passing a terrible mishap or a death arranged by Tyrell and Henry? Alan Pinkerton is a name synonymous with spying, 
and the criminologist organization that he established set the trend for insight and wrongdoing illuminating for a considerable length of time to come. He spared recently chose President Lincoln from a death endeavor in 1861. Pinkerton was even answerable for the expression private investigator, which came about in view of the Pinkerton office's logo of an eye and the trademark We Never Sleep. For a long time, it was accepted that Pinkerton endured a demise that came up short on the spirit of his profession. It was accounted for that he stumbled and bit his tongue while strolling his pooch, and later kicked a bucket of gangrene from the injury. However, present-day translations propose that Pinkerton may have really passed on of intestinal sickness that he got while out traveling toward the southern piece of the United States. It has additionally been recommended that he passed on of a stroke that he endured a year prior to his demise. Whatever happened to Pinkerton, his private investigator organization stays in activity right up till today. The well-known American essayist Edgar Allan Poe was discovered meandering the avenues of Baltimore on political race day in 1847, insane and wearing a more odds garments. He kicked the bucket a couple of days after the fact at a nearby clinic. He was 40 years of age and was never rational enough to state what befell him. One of the most acknowledged hypotheses that created was that Poe endured an episode of cooping. This was where men would be hijacked off the road and taken to various surveying spots to decide in favor of a similar competitor over and over. The way that Poe appeared to be tranquilized and was dressed unusually added to this hypothesis. Notwithstanding, the essayist may have been too notable for this plan to work. It has been discussed that Poe was a heavy drinker during his life, and this may have added to his demise, despite the fact that his companions emphatically contested this. An ongoing hypothesis proposes that Poe may really have passed on of rabies. He showed huge numbers of the key indications of the infection, including disarray, and troubled gulping. What creature the creator got excessively near is obscure. Quote the raven, it wasn't me, 